Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today we're taking a look at the new upgrades to the 2024 of the my favorite floor plan in a Class A. This behind me is the Precept by Jayco. It's the 31UL model. This is an awesome uh, opposing slide model under 35 feet. Tip to tip, it sits about 33 feet. Still is chock full of features and I have gone over those before I think in a previous video on the 23 models so this video I want to focus more on the upgrades from 23 to 24 so let's check it out hopefully we can beat the uh, clouds that are clearly coming in and setting on Orlando here in Castleberry um, okay first thing is check out the new partial paint on the front of the precept i just uploaded an alante video recently for jaco their new 2024 model also has partial paint on the alante so of course of course they had to put on the precept you get some upgrades with the precept that you don't have with the alante so i would be surprised if they didn't give you the partial paint so nice uh you know like a steel gray colored partial paint on the outside looks super clean on the on their one piece fiberglass front cap okay the second thing that i noticed standing out this is so different okay what do you notice about that window it has corners it's actually square and if you move along the entire length of the coach look at that square windows who would have thought that they would ever do this and the door here I remembered that they were going with bigger windows for the doors, but that's also a square window. So really interesting how they make that change. Uh, some of the salespeople in here think it's super clean and looks really great. I don't really love it too much. I just feel like it's, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's something that has to grow on me. Who knows? Maybe by the next video, I'll tell you that I love it. Uh, exterior entertainment center is the same. Hasn't really changed. Uh, awning is the same. Hasn't really changed. Uh, if you are pushing the light and you can't get this awning to work, guys, the awning light's actually on the interior of the edge of the awning instead of, I thought it was this plastic rail that's running across the edge of the awning, that side. So it turns out that's what that is. Uh, you still have J-Ride Plus, right? That doesn't change for 2024. You've got the Bilstein steering stabilizer, the jounce bumpers, the upgraded stabilizer bars, the Coney shocks, all that to make for a smoother, better handling class A, right? The bigger Michelin tires, the 22 inch tires on the Precept against the Elante. So some of the same great features that we've always had. Uh, we have the metal slam latch baggage doors. You've got the, technically they're, you know, they're still frameless windows, even though they changed the shape of them. And around the back, you have the, one piece molded fiberglass rear cap. You've got the ladder that gets to your roof so you can check your caulks and your seals. Keep in mind folks, uh, roof re reseals are a maintenance item you have to take care of on your motorhomes and travel trailers. It is not something covered by warranty. You actually have to maintain those seals to ensure that you you keep your warranty. So if you want the warranty from the manufacturer to actually cover a roof issue if and when it arises, you do have to have a record of those seals that you maintained that, that roof. So make sure you bring it in regularly with your local dealer to get that. Check out these windows, man. I can't get over it. So funky looking. All right, I guess it will make the precepts stand out. It's in its own class. Uh, I don't think I covered this already, but I meant to mention the one piece molded pebbled fiberglass roof up there. You can see it nice and clean one piece. It's not going to um, pull up because it's not a it's not a rolled fiberglass. It's molded. And that is the exterior of the 31 UL. So basically just uh, just some just some like cosmetic changes. That's the word I was looking for. And you do have cat strap now. So I have heard that cat strap is a steel strap that goes around your catalytic converter that will protect your motorhome from anybody trying to steal the catalytic converter. I guess that's been something that people have been attempting to do. If you're trying to steal a catalytic converter from a motorhome, oh, I will pray for you. <laughs> okay, now we are in the motorhome 
I'll turn around so you can see the full effect of the 31UL floor plan. Da, 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 da. This is what I love about this layout, okay? You walk in, you've got plenty of space in this L-shaped kitchen, solid surface countertops. There's a lot of storage. There's a large microwave, okay? To the right here, this is an option, but everybody always orders it with the theater seats because they're great. They're electric, you can recline. And right across from the theater seats is gonna be your dinette, which drops down to sleep two people. You also have four seatbelts here. So you have a total of eight seatbelts on board this motorhome. A TV that comes on a televator right up there behind the table in front of the window more storage and, and that's what I love is that this TV comes up and, and you're sitting right across okay and you can hang out in your recliners on a rainy day look out uh, or watch TV great okay up front really wish the next thing they would work on is moving this Sony system a little bit higher up on the dash because it is hard to look down at this when you're driving to see your backup and your side view cameras nevertheless you have power driver's seat power passenger seat six-way power biggest windshield in the industry it's 120 inches so that's massive and then your overhead bunk is 750 pound bunk rating it's it's almost a king size guys it does have a slat system up there so it is pretty comfortable for people sleeping up there now i want to note the wallboard color has changed if you take a look at the wallboards close up that has changed for 2024 they changed uh some of the details in the excuse me, the, the blinds, okay? There are no more blinds. You have these square windows with this square, almost looks like wood. Yeah, it's like a wood frame. And look at this new window, new blinds. So instead of having the blinds, the day and night blinds that are always shaking when you're driving, it's like a um, accordion, but you have the day and you have the night, look at that. I think I like that, you know why? Because I have been test driving these things and I'm here when sometimes those, those uh, shades rattle. So that might be a really good upgrade as long as those shades are pretty sturdy and you're careful with them. Oh, and look at this. So now instead of these cranks to open the window, you've got like almost like the emergency exit style where you push, Let's see if this works for me. And they've never been open so it's a little tight. Hold on. This is the emergency exit one. Let's try the other side. I'll try this one so that I don't pop it out of the window completely. So you push it. There you go. Check that out, guys. Ooh, that, I like that. Okay. So you can open your windows a lot further than you could with that crank system in previous model years. So nice bit of cross breeze, nice bit of airflow in this Precept 31UL for 2024. That is nice. I like that. All right. Another huge feature on the Precept, guys, is going to be this massive residential fridge. It's GE. You have the ice maker and the water filter on the door. I've said it before. I'll say it again. They actually hook up the water so you can enjoy that ice and that water when you're on your, when you're on your first trip. Check with other manufacturers. A lot of them install this fridge and they don't install the water hookup because they don't want to risk the warranty in case it leaks. So this is big and it's covered and it's, you know, ready to go. All right. Bathroom, same thingamajig that attaches the door to the wall. Similar porcelain toilet hasn't really changed. I think, you know, the windows obviously are different in here as well. Medicine cabinet looks pretty much the same. Stainless steel sink. I think this countertop has changed. It's a different texture. Um, like it doesn't feel, it, it feels like a molded, like, but it's a different, uh, material so that's interesting see how that holds up shower same right they didn't change that shower surround anything like that uh your shower head is the same skylight's the same two ac still that's a big deal on the precept your emergency exit does have a different there we go so this one has a different pull switch to actually release the whole window in case of emergency this is great okay so the valance is next to the bed i always got feedback that that people would whack their shoulders so these square windows with this nice like wooden valance is super clean and i really like that um same they changed the headboard a little bit not really um you still have your your charging ports on either nightstand you still have the his and hers dressers with the tv right? TVs are smart TVs as of 23 too. And then behind the TV on a gas strut, you have some storage. 
which is nice. Now, soft touch ceilings are gonna ensure that you don't hear the rain pitter patter on the fiberglass roof as much. Um, this is the, I wanna say Crossville guys, but it might be Asheville interior color. Of course, I don't wanna stop this video and go back and check it. So we'll just, I'll put it down below exactly what the new name for 2024 is. But this is gonna be the, um, you know, the brown wood scheme for the colors for the precept. If you choose to go with the lighter white with the chocolate accent, that's gonna be the modern farmhouse interior. And so they'll do a white kitchen with um, accented wood. That's like a deep, rich brown. So that's the difference. Again, this one is optioned with the overhead bunk, the theater seats, uh, but things like your auto leveling, your power, uh, power chairs, your 22 inch tires, your Coney shocks, all standard on the Jayco Precept 31 UL. And I will tell you guys, this is absolutely my favorite floor plan to sell, especially to couples or families with young kids who don't necessarily want the bunk beds because they can use the overhead bunk. But the storage compared to the size of the model, the features you get when you step up from the Elante to the Precept are phenomenal. And I absolutely love it, all right? So I guess that about wraps up 2024 Jayco Precept 31 UL. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you are still here, I am going to let you in on a little secret. If you stay until the end of my videos, from now on, I think I'm gonna take a minute to close in the slide outs so you can see what it looks like to move around the coach. So the fact that you're still hanging out and watching till the end, it's a secret. It's gonna be this secret between you and I that if you bother to wait till the end, you get like the best part saved for last. So I'm bringing in the bed slide. I already brought in the kitchen slide and I'll show you before I close the third slide what it looks like, but they're pretty quick moving slides. Um, they use the proper tracks for the proper slide out sizes. I know a lot of people have questions for me about like Schwintech slide out systems and the telescoping slide out systems. And I definitely recommend Jayco because of their slide outs. So let's, let me show you what it looks like with two out of the three slide outs in. All right, so my kitchen and theater seat slide is in and my bed slide is in, but you still have this one out right now. So you can see that it's starting to close up in space, but that third slide is really where everything, where the magic happens. See how quick that comes in? Just be careful that your seats guys are pulled forward, that you don't snag the back of the seat into the side of the slide out, because that's a big no-no. Okay. The three things people ask me. One, am I comfortable back here? Yes, you have your theater seats, right? There's leg room for you if you're sitting in the theater seats to watch TV this way. There are obviously seats in the dinette that are comfortable. You can shimmy. It is a little bit tight to get to here. But what I love is when you step back here, I mean, you've got all this room. So you have enough room that you could cook, you could prep, you could make your coffee. Of course, this depends on how uh, how fast or how slow your spouse drives. You can access the fridge. That's the second question I get. Can I access the fridge when it's closed, Gabby? Yes, you can fully access the fridge. And the third question is, can I access the restroom, Gabby? Yes, look at this. Fully access the bathroom, which is awesome. You can even access the shower. Again, would not recommend showering while driving, but it's there just in case you need it. Um, the last thing I forgot to mention is, can I sleep while driving? Again, it's kind of like a house on wheels, guys. It's gonna, it's gonna sway. So if you get motion sick, if you get seasick, I don't recommend it. But if you wanted to, you could come back here, crawl up and sleep because the bed does not have to fold or, or um, you know, what is that power when it power slides up and you can only access half of it. So yeah, this is the Precept 31 UL with the slide outs closed. If you made it to the end and you got to see that, comment down below and let me know what you think, if I should keep doing that after the end of each video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, happy camping.